YouTube, I finally did it. I took the plunge. I bought my first Western shirt and it's the IHSH-235 from Ironheart. It's a military surge Western and it's in gray. So stick around and I'll tell you what I think. So if you've been following this channel for a while, if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that all of the shirts that I review, especially the Ironheart ones, are all work shirts. I don't own any Westerns up until now, that is. The reason for that is I always thought that the work shirt fit me better. Uh, they usually have shorter sleeves because they're work shirts, so the sleeves are supposed to be shorter so people can work, and that's the tradition. Uh, they didn't have this kind of Western whatever ever you call it. Uh, I don't know what you call it, but they didn't have this, which I thought looked funny on some uh, flannels and, and some you know darker fabrics but I always thought that I would get myself a Western and now I've gone and done that. The reason why I wanted to get something a bit different was uh, you know going into the office going for work I can't continually wear flannels which is what I've got check flannels especially so I wanted a different color that's the other thing I wanted something that was not navy I've got a lot of check flannels I've got a lot of flannels in general and I've got a lot of blue and navy colors so I, I want to try and get some shirts that are different that I can wear to the office that you know that you can be styled up and styled down and still look quite good. Now this Surge shirt has actually come out before in the black I think and I think it came out in a green as well. Now these are sulfur dyed so they will fade. The reason why I didn't go for the green one is because I've seen the fading potential on the green one or the fades on the green one and I think it's quite a contrast that I'm not really into where this kind of uh, lighter color it's a light gray I would say uh, if this fades it'll kind of be subtle because there's, there's no deep contrast with you know a light color fading so this is why i thought this one would be great and i've never actually experienced a surge fabric before now the surge fabric if you haven't uh, heard about it or seen it it's a it's a military type fabric when i say military i mean it was traditionally used on military uniforms uh, not so recently but you know back in the day uh, world war ii that kind of thing and it's known as a really durable fabric now i won't go into all the detail of how this fabric is constructed how it's woven because quite frankly i don't understand it but know this it is extremely uh, quite thick and durable and when i say durable think wearing a pair of jeans you know when you first pick up a pair of denim and they're like stiff cardboard this is what this feels like it's a very stiff fabric and i've only worn this once i wore this uh, this week to work for an entire day and you can already see that the creases uh, are starting to um, appear just from one day of wear so uh, it is kind of you know thick and durable as you would expect from something from Ironheart and it's just a quite a unique fabric really. Right so let's talk some of the details you can hear this is a heavy thick fabric on the microphone it's actually a 13 ounce serge fabric and it just is very very stiff I'm really interested to see how this softens up over time but if we look at some of the details you'll see on the inside it's got information on where and how you should wear it so obviously it says that wear as long as possible without washing uh, because obviously that the longer you wear it without washing makes the fades and the contrasting of the fades more prominent so those creases you see in the arms so on and so forth they will show up more if you just wear it and wash it very um, and wash it a lot less the other thing is in terms of the western over the work shirt is you've got that western type uh, stitching which is that pointed I, f I don't know what you call it drop a comment down below let me know what this thing is called here is it a it's not a gunner, a gunner strap that's on the um it's on the trench coats but it's something similar to that and that is taken all the way through as well into the pockets where they have that point there you've got your black permex snaps and they have iron heart works ink written on them you've got your iron heart uh, stitched logo there as well you've got your snaps all the way through and for you people that um, are quite new to this you'll it's worth noting that if you see a shirt that has um, usually has buttons there's usually a work shirt and the western shirts traditionally will usually come with a snap so you can snap them on and off now these snaps can be taken out and replaced I think Ironheart sell a lot of different snaps as well that you can um, you know pimp it out as they say with inside got your large and you got your iron heart works uh, motorcycle works stitching in there you don't have a you don't have a chain stitch runoff at all but inside you do have that double needle stitch uh, in certain spots and it's like a copper color so they've put a lot of thought and detail even to the inside of the stitching as well other than that that's it so it's a it's it's very simple it's very basic but it's just very durable and well constructed 
All right, so let's talk sizing. Now, first off, I am around six foot and 80 kilograms. So I usually take a large in Ironheart. Pretty much everything Ironheart is a large from the t-shirts to the work shirt. And even this Western is a large. So I've gone the same throughout. Um, I find that there's a very interesting thing with Ironheart where I find the sleeves are all, almost always too long, whereas the body fits me perfectly. So all of the work shirts that I have fit me great in the body, but I always find even on the ultra heavy flannels that the sleeves are way too long. The interesting thing about this Western is it was the same. So it's a large, it fits me perfectly in the body. The sleeves were too long, but the fabric is very susceptible to bunching and creasing. So that one day I've worn it uh, in, into London, just with the creases of doing everyday work, uh, it's bunched up. So that is now sitting, you know, in the perfect spot. Whereas before, when I first got this, it was sitting, you know, w w way down here, but it's all bunched up now. So it fits me uh, quite well. One thing I will note is, as I said, Work shirts are very loose in the body. Uh, they're supposed to be free so you can work, whereas these Westerns are more trim, tailored, and kind of tight sometimes. So this is a large, this is my same size I always get. I did find on the one day that I wore it into London, although I wore a thick loop wheel t-shirt underneath for the entire day, I found by the end of the day, it was cutting underneath, not cutting, it was it was a bit tight underneath my, um, under my armpits there. So just take that into consideration as well that the arms are a little bit tighter to get it more trim um, so that annoyed me quite at the end of the day but I'm sure that I'm gonna get used to that because I'm so used to the work shirts being so loose and comfortable but there's no denying that this looks absolutely fantastic with a white shirt uh, and that's pretty much how I wore it into London the other day I went in it was cold in the morning so I had it done up but by throughout the day I had a white shirt underneath and I wore this over the top un unbuttoned like that. And it just, it's, it's the silhouette of it is just incredible. It just sits amazing. Uh, and it makes me wonder why I haven't got more Westerns uh, in the past, really. I mean, one last thing I will say about the sizing is all of this is for my own type of sizing. Everyone is totally different. I would recommend going to the Ironheart website. They have this comparison chart as well, where you can com compare to all the other Ironheart products. I have the full measurements there. So if you're unsure, if any of the stuff I've told you about underarms and sleeve length has got you concerned in any, any way at all, go to the Ironheart website and look at their measurements because it's spot on there. And if you're unsure even after that, they've got a really, really cool forum and everyone on there is lovely. Ask any question you want and they'll get back to you and help you. Uh, even Giles that runs Ironheart is on there, uh, you know, getting back to people. So definitely check that out. Right, so we've talked about the fit, now let's talk about the price. And when we're talking Ironheart, we know that Ironheart is never cheap, but really you do get what you pay for. Now this comes in at around 282 pounds and it's about 340 US dollars. Now that is a lot of money to spend on a shirt. But it's worth remembering what you're getting in a shirt. You're getting a shirt with fabric that is tried and tested in military fields. It's a shirt that will last you many, many years. And I know I bang on about this in every video, but if you work out your price per wear, eventually, if you keep this for five, 10, 15 years, which it will last that long, if you keep it and you you work out your price per wear, it, this is cheap. This is, this is cheap. And I know there's gonna be people out there that are saying, is he really standing in front of a camera saying that 282 pounds is cheap for a shirt? There's always gonna be those people that just don't understand it. But I'm telling you now in five years time when I'm still wearing this shirt and I haven't gone out and bought 10 other cheap shirts from other high street retailers, then for me, that's worth it. So yes, it's expensive. Will you get the wear out of it? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes. Does it look good? Hell yes. So that's just my two cents, that's my opinion, uh, but you're welcome to let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, am I mad? Is this too much money? The other thing is this does fade as well. So for you people out there that do want something that fades still, it's not navy or denim, this is sulfur dyed, it's gonna fade. I have no idea how it's gonna fade. I haven't seen any pictures online of this actual color fading. I've seen one of the green one and it looks okay, but it wasn't my thing. But I think this would be quite nice when it fades still with a white t-shirt. It's just gonna be so good. So overall, what do I think? I mean, it's my first Western. First off, first and foremost, I love the silhouette. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. Uh, it's early days yet. As I said, I've only worn it to work once. I have found uh, the, you know, the creasing in the elbow here to be actually quite good. I, I was, you know, throughout the day, just like seeing how it developed through the day. And then it's almost looking like 
you know, the backs of your knees on a pair of jeans. It just, it's it's interesting. And you can tell when that fades, that's gonna look so, so good, that, that little bit in the middle where all those, uh, you know, that fade's gonna be. I think it looks really good as an overshirt, but as I said as well, I did wear it buttoned up. One thing to be careful of though, if you're starting, you know, you're getting a size that is the same as your traditional, you know, Ironheart stuff in the work shirts. Uh, you can't really layer. I mean, I'm not saying you would layer, but I wore a, a kind of a thick loop wheel t-shirt uh, and it was a bit too much. Even now, this is a really thin shirt from Sunspell and that is right up there. And you know, after a day's wear, a full day's wear, you can notice it, or I can notice it at least. Uh, so that is just one thing that I'm, I'm aware of that's different from this Western shirt to the work shirt. Now again, I bought this from Rivet and Hyde and I paid my own cash money with this. Uh, at the time of filming this, they have all the sizes in stock. I know Ironheart only have a large left, but Rivet and Hyde had all the stocks, all the sizes in stock. So you can check them out at rivetandhyde.com uh, and they should help you out. But that's it guys. I just thought I'd give you a, another look into Ironheart. I know everyone seems to love all the Ironheart shirts. Uh, they're always very popular. So I thought I'd give you a look into another one. This is the IHSH 235 Military Surge Western in gray. Let me know what you think. I would love to know what you guys think. Uh, if you have the Surge shirt or the Surge fabric, let me know. Uh, and if not, um, yeah, let me know what you think of this one. Uh, if you did like that, give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate when you guys show some love. Uh, drop a comment down below. I'll try to get back to as many as you guys as possible. And with that being said, have a great day, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.